that synergy to play around. A tough task for Gen G day one. See how Tazay is here. He's burning down. But uh, I don't think it's really going to be a thing that works out. Faker teleports in, collects himself first blood against Keen. And that first one did not work out. As Faker gets underneath this turret, he's not out of the woods just yet, though, as Canyon making his way in. He gets smoked. There's a Pop Blossom. Throws Canyon into the sky. Crash down. Gonna be avoided there by Faker, who goes the other direction. Finds the snare. The Blooming Burst come down, but Chovy was given enough time. Have enough for any potential fights that do come up. That's secured by Canyon. Pop Blossom finds three from Faker, and there's a Flag and Drag as well. The option is Pays. They're looking for him, and they will be able to get their prize here as now. Gen G just running for the hills. Canyon. But Gen G just caught napping a little bit there. Uh, that is a very aggressive teleport as Faker doesn't find the pop blossom. In goes Keen, and Faker is now going to be all outed from this fight. Canyon gets his way out, or does he? His owner does find a flag and drag, and Faker is going to be the one to be taken down. Cozy Campfire is in there. This dragon is going to be secured, but now the teleport's coming in. Faker, no Pop Blossom, and there's the Cataclysm. They're trying to just keep them here. Isaias gets into the back line. Chovy makes it to safety, but I don't know whether the pace is going to be so late. Never mind. He just explodes him. And now Faker's in the pit with nowhere to go. A Gravitum comes down. Moonlight Vigil is going to connect, and Faker, he is so low. A big one to the back of the head from Chovy is going to secure it once again. And Gen G. Win out in multiple instances to worry about. Got a big old zoom out as there's the Cataclysm from Ona. Gets a huge amount of knockups as Keen now in a different spot. As there's the three man pop blossom as Faker comes in. He gets exhausted, but it's still enough to get the kill under the hands. The whole bottom lane's taken down. Snip, snip, snip goes Zayas. And there's the flag drag flash from Ona to secure Chovy. Four on the ground for Gen G. T1 with the team fight. And it feels even until it doesn't. Lands up in a few seconds. I don't <laughs> think he's going to have the opportunity. And T1, out of a game that felt like it had stabilized, find the first win in this best of three. Yeah, well, Canyon's going to try and do it again. But there goes the Nexus. T1! The I think I do. That's the... You do? I do, yeah. Keen has pressed so many buttons, and it is done next to nothing. Does call in the tree, as there's the Dawning Shadow, and first blood goes to Zayas. Oh no, Chovy should be able to get this kill, but I feel like the damage has almost been done. Oh, this is so silly. It's taking them forever. Oh, okay, Zayas will be taken down. The Arcane Smash going to help get some CC there. Oh, dearie me. Starting to see why Uder was banned. Well, Owner is also going to find Trophy face check in this brush. Kick does come back. Faker also going to be delivered an assist. And even Zayas gets an assist on it. Okay, Nature's Grasp going to come down. Twisted Advance to try and push the Kneeler back. Gumushi should die here. And they actually use the ultimate beautifully from Canyon. To make sure that the result isn't going to be there. Another Infernal Rift. Three in a row. And Genji even out the kill score. So nicely done. Making me a little bit sad. I really want to see the Leandri's version. I want that circle to hurt, you know? As Canyon, gonna be punching owner away. Finds a twisted advance now. No! Corruption. Oh, the anti synergy. Doesn't matter. Hey, he's still gonna be able to grab that kill. So it's as if he landed the ult. Right, guys? Didn't invest that much. Uh, only the cleanse of Guma. Whereas Genji most definitely did. Well, as the Emperor's Divide used defensively here by Faker as Joby gets on over there. There's the kill to start this one off. Nature's Grasp going to miss onto Ona. I'm going to say almost not worse Still as Chovy going to bust a shot Gumiushi away. He has a Blast Cone there. All out going to be used by Keen here as he finds Carrier. And Carrier nowhere to go. Oh, oh, flashes into the wall. That is not what you're looking for. Almost a double kill for Keen as Gumiushi goes down as well. But the damage has kind of been done. Just a little bit there, as we could see, and in fact, wasn't able to secure that either. You know, blue rotating around Gen G. I think that was because of the new rift. It just takes some time to get used to. And getting a setup around an objective. Yeah, Zayas just trying to be annoying in that front line. Ona can get the kick into the back line. Empress Divide onto two as well. The Wombo combos in. Lance tries to get it done, but there is no Varus. There's no Tristana. And T1 have found yet another one, but. Keen trying to find it, does get a decent angle, but the Neil is still up and available, and she does so much damage. 
Not wanting to opt in to any sort of 50-50. It's not like a rel situation like they had last time. As that's a nice little snare. There's the flash into the back line. Finds Pays. The follow-up just oh. not there, though, as Chovy just says goodnight to Faker. And all out coming through once again here. Zayas going down low, but he's an idiot. We'll see whether they actually go for this one as the Baron getting lower and lower. Chovy auto-attacking in. And it looks like Gen G are a little bit split on the decision. There's the Q from Keen. It's big. It's Gumiushi, the apotheosis. And T1 will find the team fight. The Baron goes down. Yeah, Canyon manages to get that one. Chovy's still alive as Faker dead once again. And he gets the Baron. That is certainly good news. First death goes over to Canyon as the triple comes in. There is one Baron up for Gen G. But will the Nexus be there? Genji, there's the nature's grasp. Everyone lining up behind the Udyr as the explosive charge does so much to Gumiyushi. Dawning Shadow comes in. There is the Udyr going down, I'm sure. As Grand Entrance comes in, they pick off Faker once again. It's a double for Chovy and Genji may have just found it. They may have found another game as Gumiyushi tries as he might, but it's not going to be enough. And Chovy now is on the onslaught structures. They bother him, and he is just cutting them down where they stand. Seven, two, and six on the Tristana. In goes Ona, looking for some sort of kick, but doesn't quite find it. Chovy able to take down Carrier. And there goes the Nexus. We're going to a third game. And Genji are taking us there to be sitting in that seat. It was score for so long. And now Marduk to see it. Genji, a little bit more stock standard on the composition. Let's see how it goes. We hop onto the rift for game three. Uh, he's underneath this turret, and there is first blood for Pays. Chovy taking a billion damage. They will be able to secure it. So, sweet 400 gold going over to Pays. Going to be feeling very good about that. Scry is Bloom. Show exactly what's going on. Ziggin and Zagan is Ona trying to get himself safe, but it's just not going to work out. Knocked up and destroyed. Canyon going to be able to grab that one. That is going to be the second kill for Gen G. I almost said first blood. It's three, tempo. Wait, three oh on a mission. You can't lightning rush out of that one as Keen is relatively low, but there is a big old fiery storm around that small lightning rat, yeah. and he is going to be taken down. Three now for Genji. Atlas, this is 80 cannon. Over the wall goes Canyon, and Kerry, I don't know whether he's getting out of this one. The ulti comes in, and Chovy says, thank you so much for our fourth one of the game. 1-0-2 on the Yone as well. As now even Gumiyushi has to exit. Look at this gank squad. It's like Canyon and Lehens have been born to play with one another, you know, just roaming the rift. You're staying here, four versus three. A magical journey is going to come on through. They're just leaving Gumiyushi to die, and he will do so. Chains of Corruption come in. Ona going to try and dash his way out. Has a zag left, but it's the wrong direction still. He will be alive. Getting to work here. Zayas is going to move on down. Lehens has found a position here as they get a knock up onto Canyon. He's pretty tanky, but Ona now. Oh, he's given a magical journey. There it is. Canyon picks up that kill as Chovy's in trouble. Gets a shield, tries to get out. And oh! He does. oh, my goodness. He's going to come in. The curtains are called here by Gumiyushi, but he's not finding too many of them. Keen turns up, and good night, Carrier. He's going to pay for his sins. Faker does find the Emperor's Divide. T1 are on the board. They figured it out, but. Gumiyushi is well and truly dead, and Ona, he gets away, but at what cost is Canyon? It, it doesn't feel great, and, and normally you have like, but what if Cannon, but it's his AD Cannon. Chains of Corruption, Stabby Stabby might need to be employed as Ona is just going to go down. That is the kill going over to Lehens, I believe, with a tick of Ignite. With the last Q, the Shuriken will pick up Lehens there, so his first death of the game. Surprising, to be perfectly honest. I'm pretty sure there is some bad things about to happen to the T1 members. Yeah, owner is just he's he's just he's flapping away. Out. Yeah, he's uh, he realizes that there's nothing he's really going to be able to do about this one. Faker is going to die. Pays now could be in trouble though. Is the tempered fate not going to land on top of him? But that's owner collecting the kill. Hey, that is a that's big old one. amount of gold for the shutdown as well. They are just going to clear out these traps, clear out these wards, try and make the map as dark as possible. I think getting towards a Baron. Trying to take that one down is going to be important here as Keen moving towards this bottom side. But the Baron damage isn't super high for Gen G. Oh. I'd, I'd argue it's 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 low, in fact, because they don't have Keen, and even if they do, uh, he's not building any of his carrier. Oh, carrier could just be caught out here. And there he goes. Trovi collects it. Um, but carrier does have magical journey. It's going to get a stun down there as well, as Keen getting shot quite a few times, and there it is. Gumiushi gonna lock that one down, and Keen. It's a little bit too far forward with none of the rest of his team anywhere near. Dove over the top with these hex gates as in goes Lahanzi. He finds Gumiyushi who immediately explodes. 
Nature's Grasp to come down as well. This is a guaranteed Hextech Soul. And T1 do not want to be around to see it. Yeah, already Ace getting started two on levels it. up. Here's Axiom Arc. Yeah, I mean... That's not a new item, but you wouldn't know it. TP no. coming in. Yeah, let's see whether T1 can mount any sort of defense. As in goes Chovy, unbinds the soul and oh. uh, says goodnight to the cannon. Okay. All right, Ona. Yes, you have the better smite button, 100%. He's going to be able to secure that one for T1, and you can see a little fist bump there as well. We'll have to see how much it actually I means for the outcome of the game, but if T1 stay alive in this, he's in a position on the map. Uh, it turns out that it was not a position that was very good for him to be in. This game is going places, Atlas. This game is going. That is absolutely true. Chovy is golden, and... Yeah, he's, he's, he's looking in a bit of trouble. Nature's Grasp to try nice. and save him. Some flashes forward here as he gets a shield, but he is still going to go down, and Ona will possess him now. He's in this uh, carry. Uh, well, um, I guess he's fine. Yeah, Genji just going to run away from him. There's Chains of Corruption, and he's, he's dead. He's not fine. No, he's not. Take it back. He is not fine, and Pays is gold, and uh, <laughs> then he is not. But the in the Elder is is right here. Okay, they're, try they're, set up a they're trying to set up a bait. Oh, oh, they don't want oh, to go, dear. but they do! Yes, the flash forward with the quickness, Chains of Corruption comes in, Tempered Fate to buy some space, but Ona is, oh, very close to taking lands with him, but he will go down. And now, Chovy diving on forward, Keen is a brick wall, but he cannot withstand it for too long. With Faker and Zayas having some deadly autos to come on in there. There's the ulti, the sweep comes in from Faker, and he finds the kill onto the Udia. Well, Hens has turned up yet again, and Pays just does so much damage. My goodness, you blink and you lose him. As the Elder is getting very angry. Teleport to come forward as Gumiyushi Carrier. I don't think they're going to be able to do this by themselves. The rest of their team are dead. You engage onto that, and you just can't really do anything about it. As, oh, a possible pickup onto Chovy has to flash away. Oh, Lance is going to be taken down. Zayas now with the ultimate ticking. He does fall down, but the Empress Divide comes in. Keen is just gigantic. It's very difficult to take him down as Canyon's going to be eviscerated. Pays does a lot of damage, but he needs a frontline, and T1 hold on. Does go into his Zonyas, but look at even the hail of arrows what? tearing them apart. No. Fake, oh, he gets eaten by the dragon is now Keen and Zayas fighting, but Zayas is actually winning out on this one. Yet yeah, you can have your Elder buff. It's raining down the arrows. In goes Lahens once again. There's the Wombo combo. They've taken down the Belveth as well, and I think this is the last gasp for T1. The last one's going to be an ultimate landing from Pays. Which is a pretty beautiful way to end it here as the last Nexus turret will go down and the Nexus will follow Gen G after having so much control all game. It's okay. You can you can do that. I mean um, I was I was a Lehen.